Okay, welcome to Game Battles Logo Making 101 Lesson 2. In this lesson, you'll learn about layers, which is right here, the layers window, and how to use them with Game Battles logos. In uh, this lesson, you'll also make your first Game, ba game Battles logo. It'll be really simple. Alright, layers are pretty much what they sound like. Uh, when you add a new layer, you press this button right here, and uh, it pretty much adds another page onto... Uh, your uh, image. As I talked about before, the uh, let me just bring it up real fast. The checkerboard pattern means transparency. So right now, if I were to publish this image and put it on a website, the area that's the checkerboard pattern would be transparent, and it'd show up what's behind on the website, like the image, the website's background. In a new layer, it starts out all transparent. So uh, let me undo this real fast, and let me show you what I mean. Here, uh, I added a new layer. Now I'm uh, gonna go type something in Arial. It's like, hello. Th this is in layer two, remember? I have that selected. I can have this selected or that selected. Right now, I'm in layer two, and if I uncheck the background layer, all I have left with is the hello layer, which shows that this is part of its own layer. And I can uncheck that. So what that use that's useful for, say I want to, uh, edit this hello thing without editing the white background I can do that because it's in a separate layer so I can take parts of it and delete it like that mess with it I can uh, I can do anything I want pretty much I can do a lot of things it's really easy when you work with different layers like say I want I click down here on my background add another layer this layer I'm just gonna draw a line make that line red and if you can see make it a little bigger here it's underneath hello because the layer is underneath the hello layer that this red line is in and since I'm in the red line layer I can mess with the red line without messing with anything else so that way I c click control A to select everything go to my effects menu and I have some more effects than you will but I'll talk about that later uh, basic effect, distort, frosted glass, kind of messes with the appearance of the object. Make it like that. See, I just changed that without messing with hello or background, and I can uncheck it and check it back. So working with layers pretty much makes it way easier to make uh, Game Battles logos and images in general. Without layers, you wouldn't be able to do anything, really. So that's what layers are. Now, let me show you how to make your first Game Battles logo click new the width is 300 and the height is 200 press OK now we have our uh, basic game battles logo size uh, let's start out with our background layer we don't want this white so I'm just gonna select everything hit delete you've got the transparent checkerboard pattern I'm gonna add another layer because I don't know what my background will be first but uh, I'm gonna type in something in a uh, font size of let's say 24 I'm gonna say my team this is very simple this is just to demonstrate the basics make make it a little bigger 48 there we go bolden it maybe and now it's in a different layer so I can add effects to it without bothering the background layer so I'm gonna distort just do a twist on it not that much uh, lower that just maybe not a twist effects say distort do some water on it see that looks pretty good doesn't it make that look like that add that right there press OK that's on the uh, layer that contains our text now I'm gonna jump back to the background layer click the gradient tool make my primary orange my secondary yellow switch back to primary and use the gradient tool now I just can make a cool gradient but it doesn't disturb the text if I want to make it look a little different I can make it go like that click on the selection tool and that's pretty much a basic logo I can add one more layer to add a small GFX thing uh, let's call it noob I'll make that smaller make that uh around 18 noob G 
VFX. We're pretty good, aren't we? I can click the more button here under the colors and change the alpha value, which is pretty much transparency. See, if I change that, lower it, make it more transparent till you can't see it. Make it right around there, around 113. That looks good. Close out of that. Click, and I'm done. Say I want to add something cool to this. I can go to effects, photo, glow. Play around with this a little. Put it to the resets. And change the radius some more. Change the brightness. You know, just play around with it. Didn't really do much. But that's a basic first logo for you to make. So if you can make that, you can start on lesson three, in which we'll... Uh, make our first actual good looking logo and talk about some more advanced things in paint.net.